Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will start one course on designing 10 storied residential building using ETABS. This is one real project. We will use this plan from A to Z to design this 10 storied residential building. So, to stay with this update, subscribe Decode BD and press ring button or bell button to get notification when I will upload new tutorial related to this. So let's start after getting this plan from architect. They are giving or pro proposing preliminary column with their plan. If these columns are okay as per our structural view then we will proceed with that here we can see columns are having symmetric configuration which is very useful to resist the lateral effect on the structure and the structural shape is uh, almost at 40 feet here 40 feet this is that means it is a square shaped building so we can do economic design for beams columns and structural elements for for this type of structure with symmetric structural configuration as per aci code we can provide minimum 10 inch beam section or beam width and column width will be minimum 12 inch below the ground level it will be it will have extra 2 inch that means 14 inch width to protect the steel from ground water now we will create first beam layout then at the middle of beam we will add grids here We will add single beam line first, then we will create offset with 10 inch. I will try to show details procedure for designing this 10 storied building. From here, I will take in Europe or Middle East as they are following BS code or Euro code for residential buildings in case of low rise building they are trying to follow the wall layout for providing beams because they don't want to see beam inside the inside any room but in a in high rise building we cannot follow that configuration we will provide beam beams connecting column to column and that beams can be seen in the rooms from downside if we go for decoration like false ceiling then we will we can avoid the beam view from the rooms so here we will go for column to column beam connection here we can see there are some gaps so we can move this column this one also we will go here like this or other beams like this I think this is done now we will get offset 10 inches
so this is our beam layout now we can select this column layer and beam layer we will make isolate this one isolate then this one copy here get grid line now from here we can take one grid here we can see middle of the beam that means 5 inch as we have 10 inch beam width floor beam width grid beam will be 12 inch in width select this one then change this one grid line like this now we are copy like this and then this is another project we have done before now we will go for this one match this one with this ex double enter another way of extending this line ex enter select the object up to which it will extend then press right click then select this one it will extend at the single click now i will stream this one this side copy this this and this now here we will make edit the grid line grid name a b c this is d one two three four now we will draw dimension so we have prepared our grid line now we can go for modeling as the column layout same in the we have provided or placed in the ground floor so here also it will have same grid but here this one we can copy for grid beam Great beam, and here we can go for typical floor beam layout. Great beam, we will move the beam for two inches because beam weight will be, or make it offset two inches, twelve inches beam weight. and make it one inch for each side this and this this side in this case here we can make it two inch offset now 
like this this one delete this one so now this is our grid beam layout plan here we can move this here we can move this beam to this okay done this is grid beam layout and this is typical floor beam layout plan we have to add this share all to our beam layout plan also so this one we will copy here we have to here. this is our share all and we can add beam here also Here we can see 2.5 feet 5 inch. Think here also same 3 feet 5 2 feet 5 that means here they are providing 3 feet 3 feet this side they are providing more width I think this is mistake by mistake they have done this one 6 inch we can move so here also 6 inch Six inch. Here, this one will be ten inch. Here. For this one, we will not provide any grid. Just we can take one subgrid like this. Five inch. Set five minutes. Like this. So now from here to here we can provide dimension. like this okay now for modeling open e tabs then we will define grids we will go for new one us customer we will use this one aci 318 14 code here number of grid line 1 2 3 4 this side also 4 4 4 ok here you can go for custom spacing 15 feet 14 feet and 10 feet 3 inch 14 and 10 feet 3 15 14 10 feet 3 inch that means you can 10 feet 3 inch like this 
and here also 12 feet 8 inch 12 feet 10 inch and 13 feet 8 inch 12 8 12 10 13 8 12 feet 8 inch shift in symbol 12 feet 8 inch and here 13 feet 8 inch here maybe 10 inch 12 feet 10 inch now click on ok number of history 10 typical story height we will go for 11 feet and bottom story as foundation depth I will take 6 feet and ground floor height I will change it click on ok now here modify story data ground floor yeah. this one grid beam or plain beam gf roof or 1f we will start with 1f 12 feet ground floor 2f 3f 4f 5f 6 7 8 9 so another one we need I will add this one 11 feet click on ok 10 F so total 10 number of slab we will have in 10 story building for the story here we can see this master story we'll make it now master story we will make it this one 1f first floor and we can make this one 1f this 10 number floor will be different because that is roof now click on ok ok done we can consider it as part 1 for this course now we will save this one 10 storage building So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more up upcoming tutorials. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.